Hello everybody and welcome to another video and this time I'm gonna show you how to build a simple uh, program or interface or whatever you want to call it um, that can essentially run uh, a script that you wrote before um, so I've been writing some articles on medium that's probably why you're here uh, and I've, I've been writing some articles like web scraping stuff and I decided I wanted to uh, use uh, this one, the, the, the flight scraper that can um, get you prices from kayak.com. And so instead of running Jupyter Notebooks every time I wanted to, to, to do a scraping or, or a search, uh, I thought it would be nicer to just build some kind of uh, program that would do it. Um, better than me trying to explain let me just uh, show you what i mean this is the final result of what we're going to have and uh, if i run it this is uh, the final the final product over here so we're going to build something uh, like this exactly like this and uh, from here if you recognize uh, if you read the other article you know that this is for the user to input uh, the cities that they want to search the flight uh, and the date and when you press start over here it essentially runs the the bot that I wrote in the other article okay so I'm gonna show you step by step how to start using tkinter that's what we're going to use uh, to build the app and um, that's it uh, you just need a couple of files and I'll tell you which in a moment so we can delete this and just mute so we just deleted that file we're going to build another one just like that and um, you just need a folder with these files so i have a folder it's this one and over here i'll show you this file and um, a folder called search backups this is what you need. Just create a simple folder, folder with um, another folder inside called search backups. And then this file is the one that I provide in the article, in the end of the article, with uh, the whole code, which is here. So you just copy that to the folder and you change this to, um, to your uh, details just make sure you use uh, strings okay once you have the file in the folder and you edit this part with uh, your email and uh, your password and the folder uh, once you have that you just save it and you can close it okay the app that we're going to build is going to access that file and uh, so that's why you need to put the credentials there <clears throat> Uh, and by the way, that code, um, this code, is the adaptation of the Jupyter Notebook uh, script that I wrote before. Uh, there is some uh, changes that we need to, to do, so I created this class. Um, I'm not going to go in, into much detail here, so I, I just changed the, the Jupyter Notebook file to a .py file. And um, that's what you'll need, okay? So, uh, what we're going to do now is create a file here. And over here, you, you'll create a uh, scraper app.py. So, here it is, empty. And I'm using Spider. Um, I just it's just more practical. It it comes with the Anaconda installation, and um, I'm already using Jupyter Notebooks, so it you can use whatever editor you want. Um, so first things first, we need to import Tkinter. We're going to import it as Tk. Um, well, let's leave it for now. 
So you just need tkinter, and I'm going to show you just the basic frame of a of an interface. Um, so for that, you just need to import tkinter, and you need to create the window of your um, of your app. So you just call window. tk dot tk and I explained this a little bit in the article. Um, the thing with this main loop statement here, this is the end of uh, every takeinter app. Uh, you have to place everything in between the import statement and um, I mean in the window statement and the main loop. So this is where you're going to build your app and place your widgets and once you run the whole file it will generate the window and you can do stuff with the widgets. Okay? It's going to be it's going to be simple. Uh, yeah, let's see what this. So I just ran this with the F5 shortcut and this is what we have. So, basic, basic stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's not even basic, it's just a frame. And, um, okay, let's give it a title. And let's run it again. Light scraper. So, this is probably the first thing you want to do. Just give a title to the window. There it is. So, and every time you run this, uh, you can notice the console here. It's not finished. So, this is kind of stuck in a loop. I mean, that's the most basic explanation I can find. So once you run it, once you press this button, uh, takeinter will stay in the loop and inside that loop you can do stuff like uh, click buttons and uh, it will trigger actions inside the program. Okay, still here and when I close it the console will uh, finish. Yeah, see? Okay, so this is the most basic stuff, and um, I'm not sure how long is the, the video is at this moment, but uh, I might cut here and there. Um, let's see how it goes. Let's add some other stuff. Um, window. Uh, well, let's... I found this is... You can choose if you can resize it or not. And in this case, let's call it false true. So I'm going to run it again. Uh, the window keeps showing up there. So now I cannot expand it horizontally. Whoa but I can vertically, which is horizontal and vertical. If you change this to true, let mm, close it, run it again. Okay, so this is a nice command if you want to um, give that uh, freedom to the user to resize the window or not. Sometimes you just want a simple dashboard and um, you don't need the user to resize it. Uh, yeah, just mess around with it and, and do some testing. Um, there's others about this, maybe the size of the window. Window size um, 600 uh, what was it? 600. 600. It's not size. It's 
geometry. Run it. And here it is. So these are the basic stuff that you can start messing around with in the beginning, um, like your window size and if the user can resize it or not. Um, I'm going to cut the video here and on the next one I will be showing you how to start filling the interface with a bunch of uh, buttons and frames and entries for the user to, to specify some data. Um, we're going to do something like this. So we're going to have a, a header frame, center frame and a bottom frame and over here we're going to have uh, a few more stuff. Um, yeah, make sure to subscribe to get my future videos and articles and uh, check the description below as I have some uh, useful links that I talk about in the video and uh, don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching.